And now at this time, I'd like to invite forward Deneen and Julie and any council members who happen to be present. Here they come. Do we still have sound? Oh, no. Nope. Maybe the batteries are getting a little cantankerous. All right. Pardon me. <laughs> Is it on? Oh, now it's working. Well, good morning. Buenos dias. Um, I'm Deneen Mann, and I have been associated with our Guatemala partnership since it started. And just a little history on our partnership with San Isidro Labrador. Um, back in 2007, our congregation formally entered into our partner relationship with the congregation of San Isidro Labrador, which is in the village of Nueva Guatemala, which is in the Paten region of northern Guatemala. San Isidro Labrador is a congregation of the Iglesia Luterana Agustina de Guatemala, or we'll refer to it as ELAG, um, kind of like we are a congregation of the ELCA. Our partnership with San Isidro Labrador has provided us one way to live out the second part of our congregation's identity statement, which is created for relationship with all people everywhere. Over the past 16 years, our saviors has sent nine delegations and shared in important moments in ELOGS and San Isidro Labrador's histories. You may not know this, but there is an official covenant between partners that is renewed every three years. In the past, the covenant has been renewed either in Guatemala during one of our delegation visits or at a planning council meeting. The pandemic has thrown off our timelines a little bit and it is time to renew. The council has approved renewing our covenant and we decided to actually sign the renewal during a worship service. According to the covenant document, the most important part of the partnership is Christ, who calls us into relationships of mutual love and respect. The members of our two churches must love each other, for, according to Galatians 5.14, the whole law is summed up in a single commandment that you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Last weekend, ELOG staff from the National Church worshipped with San Isidro Labrador, to celebrate their 19th anniversary, which was actually on May 16th. The members of San Isidro Labrador signed their covenant with us during their worship service, and we have a video of them signing. Um, I don't think there's any sound with the video, but if there is, just please note that they light fireworks as part of celebrations, and you could hear some fireworks in the background. By signing the covenant, San Isidro Labrador has agreed to pray for us every Sunday, attend to our members to the best of their ability when we visit their community, write to us at least once every three months, not think of us as a bank, a loan institution, or a beneficiary institution, because our partnership is one of relationship based in Christ. By signing the covenant, we agree to pray for all the members of San Isidro Labrador every Sunday, visit every other year if possible, 2024 is our next visit, write to the members of San Isidro Labrador a letter at least every three months, support the church in a material way to the best of our ability with the condition that the aid be for the common benefit, the current amount that we are donating is $1,000 a year. Both congregations agree to send communications through the members of the pastoral team of ELOG treat each other as equals, as brothers and sisters in Christ, follow specific guidelines detailed in the covenant as they relate to capital projects that benefit the community as a whole, as we have in the past for funding latrines, water, stoves, and contributing to the building of the church sanctuary, and most recently, the kitchen. We are excited to be renewing the covenant during worship and so we're going to ask council members to please come forward and sign. The pastors have already signed in our previous service. Anybody else that's interested in signing, um, we encourage you to do so after the service. Deneen will have the covenant in the narthex. Do we have such a nice sound? Do I have sound yet? 
That's so nice. Julie invited you too. I'm going to tell you too. <laughs> I would love it if you could put your signature on there. We have been talking about ways that we are community, and I think this is one of those ways that we are community. And I think that if I was on the other side in the church in, in San Isidro, I would be really excited to see the list of names of people who are committed to walking with me in partnership. So please join in on that. Thank <laughs> you. 